एक मिनट बाद Well, here I am showing you an image of a cirrhotic liver <coughs> in which this is the outer surface, this is the raised echogenicity of the liver, and the coarse texture is also in front of you. This is the portal vein, this is the gallbladder, and the walls of the gallbladder always appear thick. Uh, in cirrhotic liver, in most of the cases, and this is the thickness of the wall that you are seeing is because of the adjacent uh, cirrhotic liver. Now, this is the inferior vena cava. This is the portal vein. I uh, will see, and you see an echogenic area, even an echogenic area within the IVC, measuring approximately 14 millimeters. Okay. Now this is the inferior vena cava in transverse section, and uh, this is the this area is a clot formation within the IVC. This area is even echogenic and uh, is uh, suggestive of clot formation in, in the inferior vena cava in transverse section. <coughs> this is the transverse section. Now, in longitudinal section, when I uh, rotate it, now keeping it here, where I Let's show you from where I was showing you first. Yeah, this is the here I was. You can still see an epidemic area within the IVC. This is the protruding and. Uh, Now when I move the probe 90 degrees, this cystic area that you were seeing becomes tubular and you can still see that this is the IVC in longitudinal section now and this equal, even the echogenic area is suggestive of a clot formation within the IVC. This is the gallbladder. It contains few calculi with an H. This is the cirrhotic liver. This is the way you can see that uh, the outer surface of the river is irregular. This is the coarseness. This is the regular outer surface. And uh, it is uh, there is fluid around the interior surface of the river. It is surrounded by a tube. This is the irregular outer surface of the liver. This is the tube. And this is also the tube. Coming again to the same pathology that I mainly uh, wish to show you in this study is the formation of a clot within the IVC. Now, This is the transfer section. This is the transfer section of the IVC. This is the clot within the IVC. This is the vein, the liver, and this is the right hand the diaphragm. And uh, when I move the probe 90 degrees, You'll see the echogenic area. Now there is uh, now this is the left lobe of the liver in the longitudinal section. This is the left hepatic vein. <coughs> so. 
now again concentrate on this area the transfer section of the IVC with the drop villain and now I'm moving the probe 90 degrees you can see that uh, in longitudinal section even there is a clot that is so far non-obstructed because uh, the rest of the, it is not occupying all of the human and not blocking the total uh, I see. This is a magnified view to show you the and why it is uh, really a hepatic uh, vein. See the curve. This is a typical curve of the IBC. And secondly, you will see that this uh, left hepatic vein will be entering the IBC. So there is a clot formation within the IBC in this uh, section of the study. Once again, this is the inferior mina cava. This is the clot inferior in the uh, inferior vena cava. Now, we show that this is inferior vena cava and not some of the cystic area. Where had it been a cyst, it would have not changed its uh, shape. And had the, the portal vein is not portal vein because you can see the portal vein is there. This is the portal vein. This is the IVC. This is the gallbladder with the calculi within it, and uh, the liver is cirrhotic. Portal vein is patent and not dilated. This is the maximum dilation that I can show you of the, sorry, magnification that I can show you on my machine. And uh, you can see that the clot is there. So this is in the human of the inferior vena cava. This is the clot. Remember the shape of the clot. in the same location. So this is a short study regarding the clot in the inferior vena cava. Thank you.